Hey Jake, how do I find a partner in real estate? What we're doing is kind of cool. It's my first time coming out here. Here's our, here's the neighborhood. I just finally bought a property outside of Alabama. Finally bought one in Texas, uh, Houston to be specific. And uh, it's my first time coming here and enjoying it. Um, so how did I find a partner? My name's Jake Marchand and if you don't know me, uh, I'm a small time, I'm a future billionaire in the making and a uh, future trillionaire in the making small time real estate guy but uh try to think of myself as doing it big and um everybody wants to talk buy real estate you hear all these people harping at you to buy real estate tons of gurus out there um there's all sorts of methods out there burr method all sorts of hype nowadays but how do you get partners uh, at the end of the day you got to come up with some money to buy some real estate there's no such thing as zero percent down real estate unless you have certain situations like you're a veteran or you have certain qualifications. But uh, if you're gonna purchase some real estate, and I'm assuming that you probably want to, you're going to, at the end of the day, you're gonna end up having to uh, spend some money. And what's gonna end up, what you're probably gonna end up wanting to do is get a partner, uh, which is what I did, which is the perfect situation for everybody. But how do you get a partner? Um, so I just wanna kinda of tell you how I have, I'm sure I've probably talked about this before, but um, I'm 28 years old right now. And I've been in real estate for about three years now. I started about two years ago, about two and a half years ago, spun my wheels for a year and finally started investing. And now we are, like I said right now, that wall over there in this backyard, we are sitting at my sixth house. And I'm not saying that to brag, I'm just kind of want to let you know, like I, I, I want you to kind of have some faith in me, um, just to believe that I'm not just lying to you or and I'm not trying to get you in any class or program. I don't have any of those. Um, but the way I did it was, you know, it's, there's no such thing as 0% down real estate unless you're very specific situations. And if you're going to buy property to invest in, it's going to be 20% to 25% down, no matter what. Every single time, the money's going to come from somewhere. Um, so, unless you're born rich, or unless you have a lot of money in the bank, you have really good ideas, you're going to have to go about finding about 20% of um the purchase price of your property whether that and that that could be anywhere from 20 30 grand to you know 100 grand depending on if you want to do single family homes or it could be even more if you want to go to multifamilies and it's really hard just to make that i mean if you i don't want to sit there and tell you hold grind for 10 years then save pennies uh what you're going to want to do really is try and find an apartment with some money and that just it rolls off the tongue so easily doesn't it you know, I'll go find you a partner. Yeah, go find you a partner and then use his money. But at the end of the day, that's really the only option a lot of us have. That's the only option I had. You know, I wasn't born rich and I didn't have a father that was going to loan me a, a million, give me a small business loan of a million bucks. I wish I had one, but I didn't. So I had to team up with people. And this is kind of with all business. You've never heard of anybody do anything great before that did it by themselves. Everybody that you know did something involved in a team, you know, did something with a team. And then that's really what you're gonna have to do in this instance, you're gonna have to build yourself a team. Um, and to find a partner, I, I'm gonna tell you how I found my partner. So like I was telling you, I got off on a tangent, and I do that a lot, but about two years ago, uh, three years ago, I decided I was gonna purchase some real estate. And I, I have a loud mouth. I've always talked a lot. Uh, I used to be in sales for two to three years, but now I'm an engineer. Before that, I was an accountant. So it's not like I've had a flamboyant sales career, but I need you, but I, but like, you know, I have a little bit of sales experience. And what you're going to eventually need to do is you're going to have to treat your dreams like, you're going to have to treat your dreams like you're trying to sell them to people. When I decided to get into real estate, my little brother actually got me into it. And I was, my first sort of take about real estate was I was extremely kind of jealous and angry. I was mad, you know, I'm, 25 years old, and my 23 year old brother has a real estate agent, and he's riding around looking up uh, properties on the weekends. He's going to buy property. You know, he's been watching Grant Cardone and um, all these other, he's been watching Rob Kiyosaki and listening to Bigger Pockets and the real estate guys and podcasts and stuff like that. He's done got in his idea. He's going to go invest some of his money. Uh, he read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and now here I am, a couple years older than him, just wasting my money. I was kind of mad that he beat me to the stake. You know, I really didn't like the idea that my little brother was going to end up um, doing something smarter and wiser than me. So what I did was, you know, I said I got to go ahead and start investing. I got to, I either got to at least copy him. I can't let him beat me. So um, I got to go and find a way to purchase some real estate. I got into it. 
and then I realized like it was going to be expensive, but I had a little bit of money saved up. So I skipped around every single aspect there is. I mean, I skipped around, uh, I looked at section eight and I was going to slumlord it for a little bit. And then, you know, I looked at rich houses. I looked at multifamily units and thinking about doing the burr method and living in. I looked at all these different options. What I eventually came across was I decided like, I want to scale. I want to buy units and then scale out big. And I want to do something where I'm comfortable with. So I decided to do that, you know, I, I kind of found where I was going and then I started broadcasting it to the world. I mean, I would get on Facebook and I would talk about how I was going to see real estate on the weekends. I would get on um, Twitter and Instagram and take pictures just of what I was doing. Everybody I talked to, I would talk to them about how I wanted to do real estate and it was almost like I had this dream and I was trying to sell it to everybody and I got a lot of people aggravated. Um, you know, a lot of people that were close to me, they'd be like, damn Jake, you know, quit talking to everybody about real estate, you know, like you can't, you're going to annoy people. You can't go to the family Christmas party and ask everybody if they want to invest with you. You know, you can't go to, you can't go with your girlfriend and go out to the movies and then meet people in the movies and talk about real estate. You know, they want to talk about the Spider-Man movie you're watching. Like you're just annoying people. You sound like a used car salesman. Um... But I got to let you guys know that eventually that sort of used car salesman mentality ended up getting me where I needed to be because like I said, I just realized like I'm going to have to do this and I'm going to have to meet my partner in real estate. Somebody who's going to partner up with me and even give me experience or the funding or the financing or whatever. And I'm going to meet them somewhere. And if I'm talking to people and it's annoying them, like they're getting annoyed talking to me, like all he does is talk about business. I don't need to be talking to those people anyway. So this is almost like my, um, it's almost like a filter. You know, I'm going to walk through and mention to every single person that I know that I want to purchase real estate. And that's all I'm going to talk about. And that's all I'm going to broadcast to everybody, old, young, family, friends, strangers. That's all I'm going to broadcast. And then, like I said, all the people who don't want to hear it, they're not going to fund. They're not going to be my partner anyway. And the ones that do want to hear it, hell, maybe I'll get some experience. And what eventually happened for me, and this is a really weird situation, but from an old sales job, whew, that's something right. from an old sales job I had, about five, about two years ago, I called my very first customer. I, I started this, I started this uh, sales job, actually not in sales, I started as an accountant, but I ended up doing so good uh, calling the customers, I ended up accidentally selling them a bunch of stuff, and then they said, hey, you should go ahead and try your hand at this sales. So what I did, um, I was calling my very first customer that I ever sold anything to from a job I worked at three years ago, and I was talking to him, and I was telling him, I was getting kind of desperate, I was telling him how, I want to get into real estate and I think this is going to be amazing. I want to invest my money. I kind of want to, you know, I want to be the rich dad and I want a lot of freedom, financial freedom. And I'm getting to the point to where I was talking to my customer. I knew he owned real estate. He's the older gentleman. He's about 75 to 80 years old. And I was talking to him and telling him that I will just about do anything to get into this. And what I need to find is an investor and I'll just give him 5% of my business. I'll start an LLC, give him 5% for free. And then he can just direct me, you know what I mean? He can go ahead and tell me which direction to go. So he has a little bit of vested interest in there in my business, you know, for free. And uh, talking about, you know, and anyway, he gave me a call back the next day. And he said, you know, hey, Jake, I know we were talking about real estate yesterday, um, but I kind of want to be your partner. And I kind of think that if you and me were to be partners, you seem like you're really interested in it. And I want to purchase real estate in the area that you're staying at so I have a feeling that you and me could partner up and we could purchase a couple houses and boom bam thank you ma'am that was really the start of my career I ended up just broadcasting this ridiculous message to everybody I could possibly think of I broadcasted it to like I said family friends neighbors um, be in a hospital and be broadcasting it to nurses and stuff and eventually I was talking to an old friend of mine that we went to a couple of shooting competitions to that I met at my very first sales job and I uh, ended up ended up becoming partners with him and um, I'm having the same problem here I'm gonna have to start using my advice again because like I want to expand more and get more partners um, but like I said this is my we're at Houston and this is my sixth house I mean we're in Houston right now and this is my sixth house my first one outside of Alabama and we pretty much purchased every one of them together and everything's coming to coming uh, together soon. If I had to do this by myself, you know, I'd have to save up for a $150,000 property, about 30 grand. You know, I guess you could burr method it if you wanted to, or if you're really, 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 really good at the purchasing aspect of it, you could go ahead and buy your way into profits. But just as far as I'm concerned, like 
I didn't really have, I didn't really want to take years to develop the expertise in these certain processes. I just wanted to buy a bunch of real estate and let the weight of the transactions bear the cost. You know, for example, if I can get 10 houses um, and one house needs an air conditioner, that's no big deal if you're bringing in $15,000 a month rent, where at, you know, from 10 houses, whereas if you have one house and it needs a new air conditioner, that could be the revenue from that house for the next two to three years. You know, so just like I said, I wanted to jump into real estate and at least get to scale as quickly as possible to where I could be effective and throw my weight around. And I didn't want to say, for example, like I've listened to enough podcasts about the Burr method. I didn't want to spend years becoming a construction expert, although I have. <laughs> <laughs> definitely become a construction expert I didn't want to find years you know like I said living in buying you know uh, what do you call it house hacking you know buying something and living in each an individual unit for three or four years and fixing it up with the spare cash on the side you know I, I wanted to jump in this game you know go to the ball and uh, that's what I ended up having to do and that's what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to broadcast this like it's your life I mean, if you're embarrassed to get a YouTube channel, I'm embarrassed too. Like, I'm hoping nobody comes out of this door right here because I'm still embarrassed to do videos. Um, you need to talk about it on Facebook, and then your friends are going to say, man, you talk about real estate too much. Who cares? Screw them. They're not going to invest with you anyway, so what's the point? You know, um, you're going to need to read books about real estate, and when you do recommend the books to people, you're going to need to go into, like, if you're like me, you live in Birmingham, Alabama, you need to go to the Birmingham Real Estate Investors Facebook group and start commenting on all the posts and talking to all your friends and family and talking about how you want to purchase real estate, but I need you to always be learning and stuff. So like when you do meet that person, you can sound intelligent. You don't just say, I'm going to buy real estate. and I'm going to be the biggest mogul ever. You know, you can say, Oh, I want to purchase real estate that is in a comfortable B to B plus area. And I want to rent to the average blue collar American that rents between $1,300 and $1,500 a month. And I want to preferably get the 1% rule on every single property. So, you know, we can, uh, yada 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 and this and that you know and so when you talk to people you have a plan and it sounds like you're knowledgeable even if you've never done it before so that's the way you're gonna have to do this thing that's the way we're gonna need you to do this thing uh, I just want you to broadcast it like it's a message and eventually you're gonna find a partner the more you broadcast the quicker it will you get it and don't be scared like I said if you just start talking to all your friends and you don't make any new friends it's gonna take you years to find a partner but if you know, if you jump in every Facebook group, every Twitter group, read all these books and recommend these books to your friends and ask your friends if they've read them and talk to friends and family and ask for recommendations from friends and family and go look at real estate on the weekends and post pictures of real estate you're looking at in your stories on Instagram so they've seen it, and Snapchat stories so people can see it. You know, you, if, if you don't do all that, you know, it may take you a long time, but if you do all that, you're going to realize that there's a lot of people out there just like you that are either looking for real estate or have a lot of money they need to put in real estate and don't have the expertise and you're going to find a partner soon so that's just kind of how I found them I know I'm sounding this I'm trying to make this not pie in the sky as possible because to you it sounds like oh he found a partner he's telling me to look for a partner you know he's not giving me a step-by-step -step guide but to me it was very step-by-step -step. I lived it I worked it I ate it and I did find one and if anybody wouldn't find a partner it'd be my big mouth self so I'm just telling you how it worked for me I'm telling you it's possible so just go out there and you are now from this point forward you right now are a real estate guy and you want nothing more than a real estate partner broadcast it to everybody and let me know once you come back and you finished it my name's Jake talk to you shortly thank you